Hey guys, today I wanted to talk a little bit about my colored pencil art and really the beginning of my art journey. I've been pretty much drawing all of my life, but I didn't really get serious and knowing that this is what I wanted to just do with my life until about 2015. When I first started playing with colored pencils, I had a whole bunch of those cheap, crazy art colored pencils for kids, and I couldn't figure out why I wasn't getting similar results to some of the artists that I just started watching on YouTube, like Lisa Lacry and Heather Rooney. So I splurged and I bought a 48 color set of Prismacolors and I tried a couple drawings with them but I really had no idea what I wanted to draw with them or even how to use them correctly. And then a little bit before Christmas that year, a colored pencil magazine monthly challenge popped up into my Facebook feed. It was a picture of cardinals and a blue jay at a bird feeder and I entered a funny little drawing with a lot of artistic changes. I had no idea how to draw the other stuff but they gave me an honorable mention anyway and I was hooked. One thing that I love about doing the challenges was that even if I didn't particularly like an image that was up that month, there was still a lot to learn from trying to draw it. There was one month where we had a scrunched up ball of tinfoil sitting on a really intricate picture frame, and that one I had to crop because I just could not finish it in time and it was really testing my sanity, but I still learned a lot from doing it. It was overwhelming with all of the tiny details in there, and I had never really done any metal stuff before with any medium, so I learned a lot with that challenge, and at the end I can say I know a little bit more about reflections and metals and breaking a complicated image way down into more manageable sections. Every month there's a new challenge, and the lady who puts them up tries really hard to come up with interesting reference photos that are different from previous challenges. There are a lot of still life pictures, and we've occasionally had some portraits. But every month, I think that I know how to draw something, or that an image looks easy, and every one I do reminds me that you just can't get comfortable because there is always something new to learn how to do. Like with these cupcakes. I thought, how hard could some cupcakes be? The same thing that made me fall in love with this picture was also my downfall. I was so excited to use all the right colors that I hardly ever get to use, but I really struggled with making colors brighter and still getting the right color shadows and contrast. I was just overthinking it. I tend to do that a lot. But anyway... I just decided to have fun with it. If it's not perfect, no one in this group cares. There's probably someone that struggled with the exact same thing that you have, and they're the nicest bunch of artists that I have ever seen. Even when you're putting up something that you're not really happy with, there is always someone that has something nice to say about your work and really lift your spirits up. They are always helpful and happy to share tips and tricks. It does take a lot of time to do some of these challenges though. On this particular image, I have the image on a 9 by 12 piece of paper and it took me about 15 hours to finish and I can tell you that I will probably still go and do more touch ups and final details before the deadline on the 10th. It doesn't seem like something should take this long to complete, but colored pencil really is the slowest medium I use. I can get a lot of detail and I love working with colored pencils, but it is so slow. And that's another thing that these challenges have helped me with, with working on, is a deadline and actually finishing a piece. I personally really struggle with both of these. They keep you motivated though. Every entry is a chance to win at the random category no matter how badly you do, and if you do well enough and win either the beginning ca beginner category or the advanced one, you could win a gift certificate to an art store. I won the beginner twice, but there are so many advanced artists and they're all amazing. I may never win one, but I'm okay with that. If you do win, your work gets featured in the magazine. If you do all 12 challenges from January to December and then submit them on time, you also earn a free subscription to the magazine, which is awesome. The magazine features so many colored pencil artists and even more tips and helpful tricks and even some lessons. They really put a lot of time into putting in great content and things that colored pencil artists actually care about in there. So if you're looking for a great colored pencil community and you'd like something to help you along with your colored pencil techniques or even something to get you motivated to draw, you really should check them out. I'll leave some links below in the description for anyone that's interested in checking them out. Back to these cupcakes. I really didn't want this to be a tutorial or a how to draw these because I honestly was just winging it throughout the whole drawing. The frosting was a lot trickier than I had initially thought it was going to be. It was definitely a challenge to get it looking smooth and shiny and matte at the same time and get all the little air bubbles and sprinkles in too. But I had a lot of fun using all of the bright colors though and I swear I could almost smell the sugary frosting just looking at the reference photo so much. I love that the background was not super detailed. If it had been, I don't think I would have been able to finish this on time. And as hard as I thought the frosting was, all of the little wrinkles in the wrapping paper was just as hard for me to figure out how to do. But once I tackled the first one, it wasn't so bad, but that first one just took me forever. The yellow frosting was a bit of a challenge too. I could not figure out how I wanted to do the shadows and make the yellow darker without making a bunch of messy mud. 
Overall, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, and I'm even more happy that I finished it. I was tempted a few times just to start over and do like one of the cupcakes. Now that I'm looking back on it, instead of just adding my own thing with like a few lame star sprinkles, I kind of wish I'd drawn like a bazillion ants carrying sprinkles and chunks of frosting off of the page. That's another thing I love seeing on other people's entries. Some of these artists do such fun and different things and they really take the time to make the image their own. You can really see people's imagination and creativity come through and it's really cool to watch so many people's versions of the same picture. There are a lot of great entries over on the magazine page. You should really check them out and maybe even consider joining up in the group sometime. By the way, I just want to add that I am not sponsored or anything. Nobody asked me to make this video. I just wanted to share something that really helped me out as an artist and it really helped with my colored pencil work. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to leave a like and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time.